brought to you by GTA. We start with you. It's really tragic because they took away a father for these three boys. They took away my brother, my mom's son, and he's the youngest in our family. My son was an altar boy, a football player, a baseball player, a very kind-hearted person. I just don't understand how it got to this, where somebody hated him so much to just go to our house and shoot him with a shotgun. Juan Uggen's family is still searching for answers. He was gunned down in front of his Manila home at 2 a.m. on December 11th. We asked Juan's mother, Sonia Villagomez Uggen, and his sister, Nadine Uggen Valino, to take us back to the day he was killed. The day that my son died, we came from Naval Hospital. We were there for five hours sitting in the emergency room to find out that our, my son was already dead. And then they said he was in custody of GPD, that's why, and we couldn't see him. So that even hurt us more because we were waiting there. And then they took us to a room, gave us a box of uh, Kleenex and told us that, I'm sorry, your son is gone, but you cannot see him. Both women say the first time they saw Juan after he was shot at a family viewing on December 27th, more than two weeks after he was murdered. And it isn't just his siblings and mother who are missing Juan Uggen. His three sons are also struggling to make sense of what happened. And of course, it's very heartful for his kids and trying to explain to this one, too, of how his dad cannot hold him, how he cannot carry him or talk to him is the hardest thing because, you know, these these kids left their father. They also say they haven't heard much from the Guam Police Department. It's been going on four weeks. So December, I mean, January 11 will be one month since my brother's death. And we just haven't heard anything. I want the police department to give us some feedback to tell us what's going on or what are they doing to try and solve this case. Police say the case is still under investigation, but the family says they're concerned. Not enough is being done by the administration and senators to address crime and public safety. Juan Uggen's sister calling out Adeloup's new public safety plan for being too little too late. By the end of 2020, they're going to hire 100 people. It's too late. What about that criminal investigation department? If they're understaffed, why can't they pull some federal people in or the FBI to help solve these crimes? Hey, what are we going to do? Wait until more people are dying? Come on. They need to step up. As police continue to look for leads in the case, the family reaching out for help. They tell KUAM the suspect was seen riding away from the scene on a light colored moped or scooter. They say surveillance video from their home was taken by police, but they tell us it showed Juan smoking a cigarette outside of his house. He walks outside of the camera's view, and as he was walking back towards the house, he was shot in the back. Anybody that knows anything about what happened that night to my brother, please come forward. The family fears with GPD's staffing shortages, Juan Uggen's murder could become a cold case. I only have two sons, being in, that he's the youngest. Putting him with his dad in the ground was the most painful thing for me. It's not supposed to be the kids being buried. They should bury me first before them, but I'm burying my son, and he's the first one to go. And that's the most painful thing anybody can ever go through, and I don't wish it on anybody else. That's why they have to find the killer. If you have any information that can help crack this case, call GPD Dispatch at 472-8911. Or leave a tip at guam.crimestoppersweb.com. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.